they should be a negative .664. Jake Paul, Logan Paul. It was mediocre in my opinion. James Charles, because I'm not a bully. PewDiePie. Her editing clearly could be better. Her production quality could be better. David Dobrik. Emma Chamberlain. Elle Mills. Shane Dawson. The Ace Family. Jordan Jones. Oh! <sighs> what is going on? What's up? Hey. Hey, guys. It's me. What is going on guys, it's Jordan. Clearly, you're on my channel. <laughs> what is going on guys, and welcome to another video. Just like I said, say at the end of every video, I'll see you guys in two days. So I'll see you guys in two days. Me all like, no, I'm not gonna see you in two days, and bam, I upload another video, because I post every other day, religiously. Besides when I miss uploads, I'm not religious at that point. But whatever, okay? I'm back with another banger. Today's banger, could be juicy, okay? Have some tea, some tea could be spilled, some shade being thrown, but it's not, it's not, okay? Cause I'm not like that. I'm a positive guy, I love everybody, anyone who is in this video, I love you guys all. There's a reason why you're on my phone right now in my notes. There's a reason why you are being mentioned in this video. Now, I need my phone, okay. I have a headache right now, I need to, ow. If I puke in the middle of this video, I don't know what's wrong with me, but I don't feel good, but I still freaking film and I don't feel good, because why? We gotta hit 10 million subscribers, guys, okay? And I know we just hit a million, but we're gonna hit 10 one day, okay? So smash that subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. See, it's the, it's the smash part. Hit that subscribe button, mm, that was good. If you guys are new to my channel right now, and at the end of this video, if you guys enjoy it, give it a big thumbs up. If you guys have not seen some of my other videos, go check them out, I have them linked down below. Done plugging. Follow my Instagram, <laughs> it's down below, okay. Now I'm done, I swear. <laughs> what we're gonna be doing in today's video, I am going to be rating YouTubers, but I've noticed a lot of people have done that on the internet, and I like to do stuff a little different, okay? So instead of rating YouTubers, I have a girlfriend, girl YouTuber's gonna come up, I'm not trying to rate, this no, okay? I'm gonna be rating YouTubers content on a scale from one to 10. I'm gonna give my reasoning why we have literally some of the biggest YouTubers here, some YouTubers that are just relevant to me, some YouTubers that I just really like that I'm gonna include in my video. My battery's dying, so it's probably gonna die at a random point in this, I'm gonna have to restart, so. Frick you, technology and electricity. Why can't it just be unlimited? It, it just, it just died. But I got a new battery and it's all good, so. We're gonna just get this go. Yeah, yeah, no, Jordan, we're gonna get this go, for sure. We're gonna get this video going. Start with the first people. They just happen to be the order on the list. We're just gonna go, both of them, in one. You gotta get them out of the way, okay? Jake Paul, Logan Paul. I'm gonna rate your guys content conjoined, okay, together because I find their contents very similar, okay? On a scale of 1 to 10, I would rate their content in 8, okay? Okay, let me explain. Now some of you are like, <gasps> in 8? They should be a negative .664. Four. Let me explain, okay? I know a lot of you guys don't like their content. I'm not gonna identify whether I like their content or not, but I will say this. And this goes as far as like most of their old content, okay? I know a lot of you guys take YouTube content for granted now, right? There's so much content out there. There's so much good content out there that watching Logan and Jake Paul's videos, you just think, whatever, it's another YouTuber and you guys think they're annoying, whatever it is, whatever it is. You guys take for granted the fact that they literally think of the craziest ideas. Executing these ideas takes an entire team. If they think about it on their own, but it is ridiculous. And for that, I'm going to give them an 8.5. Whether or not you think their content is good, leave it alone. I'm just saying. Moving on. Dolan Twins. I will give the Dolan Twins an 8.5, okay? Now let me explain. This is their new content. The Dolan Twins old content was, it was okay. It was mediocre in my opinion. I just think they had the views because of the Dolan Twins. They've built up the most die-hard fan base. You know, like, I don't know if they got a name for them. The Dolan Twinators, the Team Dolan, Dolan Squad. I don't know, okay? But they've built up such a team that whoever, whatever, loved them would watch their videos 10 times out of 10, right? But recently, I know they went on a big break and they dropped new content. I watched a couple of the videos when they dropped it and it's really, really good. The setup of it is really good. Everything's really, really good and I enjoyed it. The only reason I'm not giving them a 10 is just because I feel like the Dolan Twins don't do a very good job of like branching themselves out. It's crazy though, but it's like, it's good and bad, right? I think they could branch out and they have more potential they could harness, but at the same time, it's crazy to me. They, they have like 5 million people that religiously watch them. Like that is insanely hard to build a fan base of five, maybe 10 million people that literally always watch your stuff and are dire. That's crazy to me. I'm just saying, I do think they could get into that like more A-list style YouTube if they really start working at it. Take notes from me, I guess, you know, cause I'm, I'm obviously there. <laughs> 
All right, next up, James Charles. A lot of these you guys will notice are kind of in order based off like what pops in my head. So when I got on Dolan Twins, James came next because they're like, whatever. James Charles content itself, very, 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 very good. I'm gonna give him a nine. We're gonna get to low people here, I swear, I promise, okay? Let me explain why I give James Charles a nine. This fool started from the bottom. This fool came up a long time ago making makeup videos and I've heard, I never really saw them, but I just hear that his content was pretty rough when he started. If you look at him now, his production quality is one of the highest on YouTube, okay? As far as having his full studio lighting, editing, everything. Incredible. The ideas that comes from his channel, keep in mind when you're a beauty channel and you have like one niche audience, it's really easy to think of video ideas. Alright, <laughs> I'm gonna get yelled at for saying that, okay? It's not easy, but it's much easier when you have that niche audience to think of a video idea. But the ideas he puts out on his channel, the way he executes them, his thumbnails, the actual video itself, the editing, Genius. I would give him 9.510, but like, I just am leaving room for like, there's gotta be someone on this list that's even better, but really good content. Absolutely killing it. Keep up with what you're doing. Maybe I should start doing makeup. <laughs> just kidding. I've already done that and I get, <laughs> I get torn apart for it, but it's fun. Next up, Lele Pons. Okay. <laughs> like I said in the beginning, no hard feelings here. Lele Pons has been, I'd say, torn apart a couple times for her YouTube videos. Okay. So I don't want to join and be a bully because I'm not a bully. I'm going to use the demographic reasoning again. I think her demographic is a lot younger. Lele films a lot of skits on YouTube, okay? I I don't quite understand them, I think, is the reason for why I'm not a huge fan. So I'm gonna rate her YouTube videos a five, okay? I would rate her as a creator like a 10, but a YouTuber a five, just because I'm not her demographic, I've seen a lot of her videos, and keep in mind, I've only seen her videos, maybe one video on her channel itself, and through other people roasting her. So there's definitely a way for these other YouTubers to tear her apart and make me look down on her content content more than I should. I just don't understand a lot of her videos. I think her demographic's lower than mine, but her production quality is straight 16 out of 10. Like, the girl's spending money making these YouTube videos, and anytime someone has high production quality, I respect it. So for that, I respect you. Moving on to the next person, Emma Chamberlain. Emma Chamberlain is a creator who I am just always very intrigued by. She blew up faster than anyone else. Usually people blow up on YouTube, it's like this, right? Down, up, down. And you always make sure that your, your next down is higher than next, and that becomes your baseline for content. Right? Emma Chamberlain just went up and then just stayed and just like plot like <laughs> went from here up to here and just went like this. It doesn't make sense. It's literally insane. Her view she gets now coming up from absolutely no one is insane. I do think that is for a certain reason. I think her content is incredible. I will give Emma Chamberlain's content an 8.5, maybe even a 9. I think she as a person is just very funny. I think her content is good. Her editing clearly could be better. Her production quality could be better. But at the same time, that is, I think, what attributes to her comedic value in her video is that it's like average editing, average production quality that kind of makes it relatable. That's her thing. Everything about Emma Chamberlain is relatable. That is why she's killing it so hard. So yes, you get the 8.5. Next up, PewDiePie. The person on YouTube with the most subscribers, I think T-Series or whatever it's called, like might have passed them up by now. I don't keep up to date with that. Now, we're just gonna call him the king of YouTube, okay? I think PewDiePie's content is good. I think his older content was better. Keep in mind, I think the dude's been doing YouTube like since I was an infant child, so it's gotta be really hard to keep your content fire for that long. So I will give PewDiePie an eight originally, but I will give him an extra point for having 86 or something million subscribers. Like you just, you win, you win. I can't I can't, I can't dish you. I think his content is good. He's very funny. I just think it used to be a little better. PewDie, if you're watching this, which I, <laughs> I know you are, okay. I know this is a stupid question. Go back, maybe maybe just like see what was good then, come up with it now. Or just take notes on my videos. You know, I have like almost 86 million subscribers, so if you just wanna see that. Um, let's do that. We gotta speed up this process a little bit. Next up, L Mills. L Mills is one of the, in my opinion, best content creators on the platform. I actually just made Jordan watch a video. What did you think of that video? She was cool. Did you kind of get what I was saying where like the setup and production of her video is really, really good? Well, I only watched the coming out video. That's like one of her biggest videos, I think. I don't yeah, really it's know. her most popular. I'm gonna give her a nine. Content is incredible. I've given people some point boost for a reason. I'm actually dropping your points, L, because you don't post on YouTube for a semi good reason. She doesn't post because she's going through a lot, so I get it. But I'm saying I really think that hate gets to her. Her head and I hate to see that. I don't think hate should affect anybody. I think hate comes from insecurity. I think if you learn to understand where hate comes from, I've said this in so many of my videos, it will affect you less, right? Keep in mind, she blew up super fast, having that many people judge your every move out of nowhere from having no one judge your every move besides like your family and friends is probably a lot, a big burden. So I get that. I wish you the best. I can't wait till you start posting content again. You still get a really good score. And let's move on to the final five or four maybe. The final ones I save for the ends, the one you guys really want to see me judge, starting with 
David Dobrik. I'm gonna have to just give him a 10. He's one of the only YouTubers I watch. I love his content. And I'm giving him a 10 because his content is so good that it pisses me off. Like, the way that he has all of his friends in on all of these bits, the thought process that goes behind these bits, the ideas, the execution, everything is perfect. The comedic value behind his videos is incredible. So for that, he gets a 10. Next up. Shane Dawson. I'm gonna give Shane Dawson a 9, okay? I'm not gonna give him a 10 just because I don't think I've seen enough of his videos. I don't know his history. I know Shane has been in YouTube longer than like a lot of people. I know he's been like really popping for a long time. I'd have to really watch his other videos to understand. His new stuff's really good. I love that he has like a completely different like documentary based style of YouTube. I think it's incredible. I love it. I love that it's real. And him as, a, as a, just a personality is really great. Next up, Jordan Jones, okay? One of my favorite YouTubers on the planet. Platform, hands down. I think she's incredibly sexy. I just I can't not say that I know I didn't say any of the other people were sexy She just happens to be one of the people I think is absolutely gorgeous of course a sweetheart beautiful Smart uh, I have to give her an 11.5 for her content um, I think I'm in love with her by the way So I should probably like DM her or something and let her know that probably my favorite youtuber on the platform So uh, moving on to another one of the final creators second to last the ace family I'm gonna give them a 9.5 Okay, not gonna give them a 10 just because I think I don't watch them enough I I absolutely love their content. It blows my mind, like their journey of how they got here. They're doing everything right, making all the right moves. Their kids are adorable. I love their family channel. Austin's the man. Catherine's a sweetheart. Everything about them, really good. 9.5, one of the best on the platform right now, in my opinion. Production quality is great, and he has dope cars, and I love cars. So for that, there you go. Last but not least, Ryan Toys Review. Just saw him at the Kids' Choice Awards. First time I've ever seen that kid in person. I'm just gonna give him, I'm gonna give his content like an eight. I think with how much money that that kid probably makes just because he literally gets more views than anyone else on YouTube and his stuff is super family friendly that his production quality should be like literally like I'm watching the Avengers as a child like they should literally have an entire production team every time but the fact that they don't have to do that and they still get those views is incredible the kid is killing it I'm like 10 times the age of his demographic so I can not even really begin to understand but I get it if I had a kid he'd, they'd probably watch his videos great to pass time for your kid Kids, hand on the iPad, watch Ryan Toys Review. He's murdering all of us on this platform. So for you, for that, I salute you. That is my rating. That is my ratings of creators content for right now, for YouTubers content. If you guys disagree, let me know in the comments below why. If you guys agree, let me know why. If you guys think someone should have got a higher score, let me know why down below. Of all those creators, let me know who down below is your favorite. I love you guys. If you guys want to rate me down below in the comments, let me know what you guys would rate my channel as far as all the things that I kind of said. I love you guys. I will see you in two days with another banger. Cannot wait to tell my subscribers. It's literally going to happen like, <laughs> like a couple years. <clears throat> Bye, guys.